In this video, we are going to discuss scenes and what they are inside of Unity. Now, Lee, in one word and one word only, can you describe what a scene is in Unity? Level? Yep. Uh, if you're familiar with playing games, most of the games you play, whether you know it or not, are broken up into multiple levels. And your game project is going to be broken up into multiple scenes. If you like, in the back of your head, you can actually kind of flip-flop the terms uh, scene and level. But when you're actually working inside of Unity, they are referred to as scenes. Right. They're also a little bit more robust. You can use scenes to create things like your opening screen, your intro mm -hmm. menu configuration screens. <laughs> That's right. The reason they're not called levels is that one scene could be tied to multiple other scenes to comprise a level. Like you could have, just as a, a kind of a conceptual example, one scene that really just gave maybe your title screen and then a little bit of UI stuff. And that's actually a scene in and of itself. That would be a three-dimensional scene that you could pan around and work with. And then as a part of the scripting that drives all of that, uh, that user interface, that could load in another scene, which is actually, you know, might have a little terrain in it and, you know, a sun and, I don't know, a tree over here in the corner. And that could actually be uh, part of the actual first level. And these would tie together. So you can't really think of them as levels. That's why they're, they're called scenes. They are a little different. Now, if I jump over into Unity, here's a basic example. Here I am looking at a scene of a little snow-like world, and you know we can rotate around it, we can move through it, just like you would as if it was a 3D scene that you'd made in a 3D application, such as uh, 3ds Max or Maya or anything like that. And we can open up other scenes as well. Now there's a couple of different ways to do this. You'll see here inside my project view, my project panel, I've already got a scenes folder. And I can just double click on any other scene I want to see, and it will load in that scene. So now here we are inside of another scene. And we can open these up by going to File, Open Scene as well. And if we jump into the Scenes folder, we can go right back to our demo snow world, as you see here. Right. And the nice thing is these are triggerable through scripts. So you could load in a level. As you complete that level, that level could then queue up the next level or load the next scene. Mm -hmm. So you can move through your game in a, a, a linear or nonlinear right. fashion, depending on how you structure it. Right. And it, it allows the player to experience... Uh, that would allow the player to experience the game without feeling the big break in between levels. To them, it would feel like one constant experience. But because of that, because of subtle differences like that, that's why we don't say, you know, open level or start a new level. Now, throughout these videos, you'll probably hear me drop the term level all too casually. And generally, if if you hear me say that, you're welcome to, I don't know, to make a face, because generally I mean scene. So that is what a scene is. Again, you're going to be creating a lot of these. They will contain uh, the layout, your, your terrain, everything about one particular part of your game. Right. There's one thing I'd like to point out Please. as well. You've seen now us working with the project uh, panel, and we'll mm -hmm. get, go into it in depth. Just to the left of it is the hierarchy panel. Now, this panel shows all of the assets that are being loaded into this particular scene. That's true. This is everything that is actually in the scene is here inside of this view, where over here in the project view, we have all of the things that are kind of stored on the hard drive. But this is kind of like our library of things we could draw from. That's exactly what it is. And then over here on the left, we have what's actually available inside the level. An interesting thing that you'll see more and more of as you work more and more with Unity is that this list here on the left is dynamic and will often change throughout gameplay. Um, if you have Say, for instance, you have like a shooting game where you have a uh, projectile that's being fired. That projectile will be an object that will appear inside this hierarchy list, <clears throat> literally being loaded into your scene on the fly. But that's a without letting this branch out into too many other topics, that's a good rundown of your scenes. Again, it's just it's an area of 3D space that contains a series of game objects. That will wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.